We're speaking to Carly Brunan, who scored the game-winning goal for NJIT on Friday night in the 2014 season opener against Canisius. Carly, what can you tell us about the goal, what, uh, what happened, and tell, tell us a little bit about the play. Um, I just see Maddie dribbling up the left side of the field, and I wanted to curve my run in, and she just had a perfect ball to the back of the net. I just headed it, and I really can't even remember much of the play. I just looked and saw the goal in the back of the net. Carly, you were very active tonight, getting a lot of opportunities in close to the goal. Um, what were you aiming to do? What, what, was, what was that the product of? I just wanted to score really bad. I knew this team wasn't better than us, and I wasn't going to let our team lose tonight. To NJIT head coach Mandy Risden, whose team opened the 2014 season Friday night with a 1-0 victory over visiting Canisius on Lubeckin Field at Mal Simon Stadium. Mandy, you must feel good about getting this first win and, and the way the team played overall. Can you tell us about it? Um, I feel good about the first win, but mostly for the girls. Um, you know, this is something our program's continuing to grow each year, and to start off this way uh, is great, and it's great for them, confidence builder, and you know, I'm just very happy for them and proud for them. One of the things, it seemed like the attack was much more advanced maybe than it has been in previous years and you were able to get you were able to get off uh, opportunities on offense but not sacrifice anything on the defensive end what what was uh, I, I assume that was the uh, result of a lot of work in practice very much um, this preseason we've put a lot I mean we returned a lot of the team from last year so defensively last year we were pretty organized it was something to build off of this year so we try to hone in on the attack in preseason and um, you know the girls over the past, you know, couple weeks, have been working at it, and tonight, you know, they kind of took things into their own hands. Um, we're still, we have a lot of work to do in the attack, and we we only touched upon certain things. So credit to them, a lot of what they did tonight was, you know, them taking ownership of it and working. So even though NJIT had a lot of the possession early and some good chances early, the real best chance early, from what I could see, was a shot that Canisius took about 20 minutes in that Samantha Bursette made a terrific save on, and she had some tough saves tonight. What would you say about the way she played in goal? I think she had a great game. Um, Sam was incredibly solid tonight. You know, not just in the saves that she made, but just merely in her positioning and um, taking ownership and command of the 18-yard box. And then, you know, being there, the ball's got behind the D. Um, you know, her game is continuing to grow, and uh, she showed that tonight. So she's maturing within her own, you know, within her own game. This was an early test against a team from the Metro Atlantic Athletic Conference, a, a team that's got a not a great record, but a decent record in previous years. Um, in terms of the quality of the opponent, do you feel like this was a, a good victory for NJIT? I think any victory is a good victory, to be honest. Um, but yes, I think this was a, this was a good victory. Um, and again, more so for the girls and to kind of instill belief in what we're we're working to do, you know, and we change things up a little bit in regards to our system. And, you know, this, I think, gives them a little bit of a chance to kind of see see it working and see it falling into place. Um, you know, I know that they were weary at first, and I think that the more that we can be successful within this, it's, it's, it's good for them, it's good for the team, so. Sunday afternoon, a game against the University of Hartford, which had a very good record last year. Uh, what can we look forward to in that game? Um, hopefully more of the same, you know, I think one of the things about tonight is that we were organized defensively and it's certainly going to take that on Sunday if we want to be successful. So, you know, there are definitely aspects we need to work on, but if we can continue to be organized defensively, I think it's going to help us. Um, it's the best line of, of attack is to have a strong defense. So I think that we just continue to build on what we did tonight.